I love the fact that Mitch hadn't been to church, that he didn't have a Bible, he hadn't been to Christianity 101, he hadn't been ordained. He, all he knew about Jesus is that this crazy guy comes in and prays for his brother, and he got healed. And he says, you know, I want this. So I've shared this story a lot. But about two weeks ago, I get a text message from Mitch. Where does it say this about healing in the Scripture? And where does it say this about healing in the Scripture? And where does it say this about healing in the Scripture? And so I was getting ready to look up the Scriptures, and Christy says, just send him your whole sermon. Why? Because I teach on healing all over the world. And so I sent him the Scriptures in English. I sent him the message, and Bruno's translating it for him. But he has a group of people now that he wants to teach on healing because they don't, they know Jesus, but they don't know that Jesus heals. They don't know a whole facet of Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals. They don't know that by his stripes you've already been healed. And you know what? Mitch might not be a theologian, but you're not going to tell him that Jesus doesn't heal everybody today. You're not going to tell him that Jesus only heals certain people. Why? Because he saw it with his own eyes. And it was that aspect of Jesus that tore down whatever walls he had in his life that kept him away. How are we letting aspects that we don't understand keep us from walking in the aspects that we do understand to glorify him?